Let's remove the background from an image in Leonardo AI. We're on the home page of Leonardo and I'm just gonna scroll down here through the community feed a little bit because as I was preparing for this video, I found an image that I thought, man, that would be a tough one to remove the background on. Here it is. A lot of the same colors are in her shirt as are in the flowers around her. There's a lot of shadows. So I thought it would be a great one to experiment with. And I was really surprised at how well this did at removing the background. The only thing that looked a little weird to me was at the top of her hat here. But then when I go back and I look at the original in the same spot, it looks to me like it got it right. That's a big red flower behind it for sure. So that could have been just in the generation. Maybe the hat didn't come out right or maybe it's right and I just don't know much about high fashion hats. Something I gotta tell you about background removal in Leonardo is that the button isn't always in the same place. It sort of depends a little bit based on where you are looking at the image that you want to remove the background on. So if you're scrolling through the community feed and you happen upon something that you like the image but you want to remove the background of it, maybe you want this cat, click on the image and there isn't an obvious remove background button visible at the moment. But if you click these three little dots that's on the right side of the image just below it, the very first option there will be remove background. It says it's going to cost us two tokens to remove the background. So we'll go ahead and do that. Then we get this message up here that says, hey, we're working on it, but you'll need to check back and you'll need to refresh the page. Since I'm in the community feed on this image and it's not one of my own, it's not going to show up in my personal feed or anywhere other than the community feed. So I will have to come back through the community feed to get to this image. And then I just look for the little drop down where it says arrange original, drop that down and select the one that says no background. And here it is after the background has allegedly been removed. This didn't do nearly as good a job as it did with the lady in the flowers. There's the original. If I'm getting rid of the background, it should be all the dark things and lights that go away. We should keep the fur and the clothing. Not so good of a job there. It really just darkened that and made the cat's head look even weirder if that's possible. I'll cut it some slack and say maybe it didn't understand. It had fur over here and different color because of the shadows, fur over here and fabric in the middle and didn't understand what it was trying to cut out here. Let's give it another shot here from the feed. We'll click on this guy. So I'll click on the three dots and if someone has already removed the background from this image, this top option of remove background will be disabled. You'll see it, but you, it'll be darkened out and just come to the drop down and pick that version. So we'll click remove background. We get our acknowledgement here that they're working on it. I'll go ahead and close that out. Now we can hit this drop down here and go to no background. I don't see any problems there. I don't see anything of him that it cut off and I don't see anything of the background that it actually left. We compare it to the original and I think that's looking pretty darn good. Now, even though if you remove the background from an image that's in the community feed, if you want to go ahead and grab that image so that you don't have to remember where it is or try and find it, you can always download that image just by clicking the little download button right here. Also, if you were to upscale this image, say by clicking this Alchemy Upscaler, it will then show up in your Upscaled Images tab of your feet. The only situation that I've found that you have to really go back and try and find it is if you just remove the background on the image and nothing else. To avoid hunting for it, you can also click this little button here, which will give you a copy link option so you can get back to it via link. Now, I imagine for the most part, when you want to remove the background of an image, it's probably an image you created. So let's go over to our image creation tab. This is where I type in the prompt, generate the images, and they appear in sets of however many I generated below. You notice if you hover over any image, you get all these little buttons that pop up. And this first one with the diagonal lines is remove background. So we can go ahead and click that and we don't have to worry about trying to find this one again. We could go off and do other things and when we want to find this again, it'll be right here in this set of generations. Or if we go to our personal feed, it'll be there since it's something we generated. When I hover now, instead of the remove background button being gray like it is on this image, now it's purple and that's telling me it's done. I can click that and I say it did a pretty good job. There's a bit of a glow here between the fingers on his, be his left hand, but we need to do some work on that hand anyway because my man has five fingers and a thumb. That's going to require either editing or upscaling anyway, so I wouldn't be excited about that. My first attempt at fixing this hand would probably 
probably be to use the Alchemy Upscaler because it'll not only upscale the image, but it also does a pretty good job of fixing faces and hands while it's at it. It's not 100%, it's not foolproof, but it's worth a shot. Let's go back to our personal feed. And the personal feed looks a lot like your image generation page, except it doesn't have the prompt box and whatnot up at the top. However, the way the images are shown and the options available to you are not the same. We don't have the little buttons that show up when we hover. So let's go down and look at something a little different. I used one of these for the thumbnail and I can see here this little icon. You can't see it when I put my mouse over it. But notice that little blurry circle with the square of diagonal lines in it. That is telling me that I removed the background on that image. And same for this one. So let's pick one of these that I didn't remove the background on. We'll look at this one right here. This time we have to click the image because again, we didn't have a remove background button just by hovering. And this shows up two different places depending on whether you're on this screen where you're seeing the image, the prompt, all the details and some options. You wanna do it here. It's just like in the community feed where you click the three little dots and then you click on remove background. But if you've zoomed in on this image, if you click it and open up just the image and don't have all that other stuff around, then you're going to be looking for this little button here, the white diagonal lines right there. So we'll click that. We get our message that it's going to work. And you can either wait here a few seconds until you have another option under original that says no background, or you can go off and go do your thing because this is in your personal feed. It's not going anywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh the page here. And sure enough, we see the icon over the image that says we have a no background version. So let's just click on our image and we'll drop down from original to no background. And there she is. Let's zoom that in. And I think it did a fine job with that. We can go back to our original. When I remove the background on something, unless it's really obvious to me, I like to compare the original and the background back and forth a few times to make sure I'm not overlooking some major gaffe with it cutting out part of the foreground that it shouldn't have or leaving in some of the background that I didn't notice. This one, I think, did a good job. What if you have an image that you generated somewhere else and you want to remove the background? Since there's no direct way to do it, you've got to figure out how you're going to get that image that you're bringing in into your personal feed somehow. For instance, you can use the upscaler tool, upload the image that way, upscale it, and then remove the background. But in my experience, unless I was clicking the wrong button, it ends up removing the background from the original image that you uploaded, not the upscaled image. So you don't even benefit from the upscale. That's kind of a waste of time. But there's plenty of other places that you can remove the background from an image you already have. So it's probably best to just plan on using Leonardo's image background remover for the images that you've generated in Leonardo. I hope you found this helpful and I hope to see you in the next video.